Welcome. Sorry for that. So this is going to be the seventh weekly dispenser. Yeah. Welcome. Yeah, so this is going to be the seventh weekly dispenser. I'm going to start introing this right now since I was a little late. It's already been 10 minutes. Um, welcome. Welcome. I'm going to keep the music on really well. So we're going to go over uh, basically some tips and tricks that it I think are really neat and fun to use in both pubs as well as competitive settings. And I think I, I tried to choose basic maps that are applicable to both uh, 6v6 and 9v9. We will see. Yeah. So the maps that we're actually going to go over today, there's only probably going to be time for, I think, two. Uh, so I picked Gravel Pit and I picked Granary, and um, I'm hoping that later uh, we can maybe do other maps or just if people see things and sh show me them, I can update you guys later about more of these little hiding spots. So I play uh, Roaming Soldier. Let me almost get into this. Hold on. Yeah, so I like to abuse a lot of the high ground, a lot of the um, hiding spots that roaming soldiers have found in a lot of these maps and uh, they really ri when you exploit them you usually uh, get a kill or get a lot of damage off um, before they see you or before they can react to whatever it is you're doing um, and I didn't want to go necessarily over jumps like I think jumps are uh, a little different like I don't want to go over mid rollouts these, some of these are jumps like I will go soldier and jump but they're more of like ways to get to different places that you may not have seen before 
um, that could be potentially useful. Mm, I'm thinking like uh, roamer hiding spots and stuff and scout hiding spots. And I think this is good not only for roamers and scouts, um, but also everyone on the team so that you know where to look on these maps for somebody hiding. Okay, we're, I'm just about ready. Right back. Okay, now again, welcome. This is the seventh weekly dispenser. Yeah, welcome everyone. Hopefully you're here to uh, be entertained and learn a little bit of TF2. Uh, so what I have in store for today is basically uh, tips and tricks at episode, like uh, keeping in the theme that this is similar to a normal daily show where we have different themes. Today will be a theme. It will be tips and tricks and I'm carrying it again towards kind of the pub maps, the maps that get played both in pub and comp at 6v6 and Highlander levels. So basically Granary, the basic maps. Um, I'm not going to do Badlands, but we will do Gravel Pit. Uh, so depending on how much time we have, we'll try to get through all these clips I have stored um, ready to go. So we'll see. Uh, and again, a lot of these, if you're like higher level, you may know a lot of these obvious jumps or a lot of these obvious places to look. But if you're lower skilled or if you're just starting out, I think a lot of this is good. Um, again, even if you're not a roamer or a scout, just because you should know where to look around the corners, you should know where the roamer is going to be hiding to potentially kill your medic. Um, so it's important to know this stuff. Yeah. So again, like I said, we're going to start with Granary and then go into Gravel Pit. And then if that actually works out pretty well, we'll do... Um, maybe some more demos, uh, but we'll see. Let me make sure this is working. Mm. Just trying to get uh, confirmation that the sound's working. So while we wait, I'm going to get my clips ready. Um, so a bunch of these might be short, or they're varying in length. But basically what I did today was with a bunch of people went over a bunch of jump map look. Like I used to usually do this every season. I think for good, the good teams usually do this once every map. Every new map um, comes up on ESA or UGC. You want to go over with your team. I don't know why I keep going to see it. So this is going to be kind of like that. This is going to be me going over the maps and then trying to show you guys uh, the spots I know uh, and hopefully educate you guys a little bit, give you some ideas. So we will do Granary first. And I have the Granary 1, so this is basically going to be our first demo. Let me make sure this is working. Yeah. 
so we can just free, you know. So this can be, like I said, this is a demo I recorded earlier in my server with some people going over the maps, and we were trying to figure out what are all the good hiding spots. Um, and this is probably my favorite one, and one of my the ones I almost always like to use is right away just going to mid and going on these little uh, ledges right above the garage. So right now I'm right side on mid going to out the garage. But say uh, I was defending mid in this case I could jump up here and I could jump on these little window sills and you know those holding me up really well. Or I could jump up to, this, to these lights. And this is on the blue side as well. So on some of these maps it's uh, color dependent on what team you are. So uh, blue and red have different kind of architecture on some areas, uh, especially on granite. But I'm just going to go over the basic ones. So let's keep. I guess this keeps going. So let's see what else. Uh, so I'm going to fast forward a little bit. Okay, so here we go. So this is the second one. So say you're pushing the red yard. Um, there's these big columns. You can actually double jump up there and uh, stay up there as a roamer, and it's really hard to see. And if your team baits you correctly, you can actually get a uh, key pick on the medic by just falling down, because um, very few people actually check up here. So this is a good spot. And then also, I think uh, if you're pushing in a red yard or say you want to bait red yard, again, I'm s looking at this from the roamer perspective, so if I want to hide over here, uh, I kind of would prefer to hide on the tires. I actually like the tires the best. So here you can see that when you just hide on the tires, it's very dark. It's hard to see you until the very last moment. And if you're quiet, usually nobody will disturb you. Um, and you can get a free couple rockets on the medic. Alternatively, you can jump up onto this respawn ledge. Uh, I think people check that very frequently, so maybe not so much. Um, and this is even sneakier, I think, because most people don't know, but you can even go farther back and go into this little uh, alcove. So sweet area on Grand Ring. Yeah. Alright, so that's the first. Again, like I said, I've got a bunch of these lined up. They're all different sizes. I'm going to keep going through. I hope this is working. Nobody's replying. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep going. So that was the first one. You saw like maybe two or three, or I think two jumps. The first two jumps, uh, and we're gonna keep going to Granary Two. As long as I stay on this, I think we'll be fine. All right. So Granary, the second round of Granary jumps. So of course, I think one of the most obvious is jumping up on this exit sign. Um, some of the some of these things have been patched out, especially on Badlands. I found that a lot of these little window sills have been patched out. That one stays. Um, you can hide up on that little tire. Of course, the tire is good on these little whatever these are, green granary things. Um, but uh, on the machinery, I guess. But uh, that's it for. Does this keep going? Let's see. Yeah, and then you can. I was just trying to mess around with that, but you can kind of sometimes hide in there, but uh, that's not the best. So let's go to the next one. Just keep going. I just cut out all the dead time, so you can see that these are just two short clips where the jump actually worked, or I found the jump that I was looking for. So here again, I'm just going to try to hide on this little uh, ledge, or I guess this little pole holding the lamp. And uh, this is really good if they're pushing in from a garage. They're going to often check for stickies, so this is kind of a dangerous trap because the stickies are often where you are. Uh, so you have to be a little careful about when you use it, um, but it's pretty effective. And then if you're pushing in the last, so now that we're going to do the last jumps, and it, these are pretty color specific, the uh, blue is different. So on red last, uh, you can actually get up on this wall, over, I'll show you, there's a couple spots you can get up. Um, so here, so can actually get on that wooden thing, but there's actually a wooden s a window sill right beneath it that you can't get on. 
And if I do it right, I'll be able to show you. Yeah, here, so that's good. And that, if you're, again, a roamer, is really deadly because the team's going to spawn and nobody's going to check this. And uh, you can easily pick a key player, put out a lot of damage, or just hide up here until you want to cap the point. Um, yeah, the alternate, you can't get up on that thing. I was trying to show what the things you can't get on. Uh, as well as you can't get on uh, this little horn thing. This alarm system. Um, but the one last thing on last, on, this is red last again, is this left side. Uh, on the, again, this little granary machine thing. Sweet spot. That's a good one. Um, I think people kind of know about that one more. I'm not sure. Maybe not. It's hard to say. So there. So that was now, uh, I think, three. Now we can keep going on to four. Now I wanted to also go over scout. So if you're a scout, you can also get up to a lot of these lampposts. And soldier as well. So soldier, of course, can get up to this lamppost. Um, and if you have the thing, the... Boston Basher, you can get up to there as well, but you can just alternatively just walk onto these lampposts. I don't think you, you can actually get up there this way. You have to go around, so... Uh, again, I'm a soldier. I'm not a scout, so I'm not the best scout jumper. Uh, this is going to take a, cu a couple attempts, but we will get there eventually. Go, go. Scout jump. Go, go, scout jump. Alright, so you can get up there, and you can abuse th these kinds of ledges on the crates on mid. Um, Again, I'm the best, but technically you can go all around mid like that. And then this is where that demo actually ends. But we're going to respawn, I think, uh, let me do... Oh, so now this is where we're going to actually go into DX Story. I'm going to put on this. Now... Load granary jumps too. So now we're going to look at, I think, the blue jumps, the blue last jumps, and uh, any other granary jumps that I missed. So those were the kind of the first best batch of easy jumps that I could find. And then um, I'm just going to go real th quick through this uh, second demo. So again, if you're a scout, you can abuse a lot of those other things. So again, let's add a little bit of fast forward, like 1.7 times normal speed. Um, but let's see, is this just the bat? This might be the time. Yeah, yeah, this is what I'm just trying to show. So if we just go in here, this is again kind of a good roamer spot. I like this spot. You can do the same thing as Scout, like I was saying. It's good to check that. I think that's is that it. I don't know if you see what else is there. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, I didn't know about this, but apparently you can jump on this pole in blue. Oh, we did this. Yeah, blue, blue yard has a bunch of good jumps. So it turns out this pole is kind of sticky. And you can't actually get on top of it, as I found out. But uh, what you will see is that you can kind of stick yourself up there. kill myself. But uh, the idea is... Now I understand this jump. This was the first time I'd seen this. So I hadn't seen this before. Um, but there's fog doing it first. Sweet. And I think I get it. Yeah, no, not this one. Same. The idea is to go straight into it as fog is starting. I'm trying not to go at it at an angle, apparently. So I think this time... Did I get it? I did get it. Yeah, so that was pretty good. So the idea is just to give yourself a little bit of a high ground advantage and in a weird spot where scouts wouldn't normally look. So you get kind of that um, that advantage on that first shot, your first rocket. Their motion is not going to be able to change because they don't know that you're in the room yet. 
And I think that's really important for Roma. That's why a lot of these spots are really important to kind of figure out. And so we're just going to go over the windows now. Now there's these kind of jumps. Let's see. Yeah. To go well. I'm going to make sure this is working. Yep. So yeah, all these little windowsills you can jump on, and both the right yard and the left yard. I just did the left yard, now we're, I'm doing right yard. Each one. Um, and I think this last one, well, I'll show you on the left. You can't really get up top, you can get on the windowsill ledge too. So this is really powerful, I think. This spot is pretty good, as well as like these next two windowsills. Um, this is pretty good, as well as the next one. This I think is the best. Um, cause you can kind of watch Z, Z area and they don't see you at all and you can even spam in there um, you're really high in that corner hard to see I like that spot um, and again you can just jump in Z anytime uh, and I think that's it okay so I think that's it. Yeah, no, yeah, that is it. So this is actually, that's it for Granary. So we're going to take half time, like, say what we learned, I guess. So we learned some cool jumps and some cool places to hide on Granary if you're a roamer or an aggressive scout. And uh, again, like I said, equally important for you to learn if you're a medic or you're trying to play pocket soldier or trying to figure out where these enemies are hiding. Um, that was some of the basic grand ones. Now we're going to do G-Pit. And G-Pit, I didn't actually do uh, the clips. I did the clips for some later stuff that I'm going to show on, on Gravel Pit. Um, but for the first set, it's actually going to be a demo like what I just did. So again, uh, let me load the G-Pit jumps. So this is going to be the first GPIT demo. There might be some dead time. I'm going to try to fast forward through it. Medic! But again, uh, the first thing I think of on GPIT is this is my favorite jump. Um, and this, the idea is to do this jump. Let me make sure this is working. Uh, on red, when you're on red, and you want to do a kind of aggressive hold on A um, with either a medic or if you're a spy, um, as I, I like to do in pubs and make people rage at me a lot and call me hackers, uh, is to do stuff like this, is to jump on these ledges and get into the spawn. So uh, I'll show it again. Let me do it again. Oh, so I missed it, but uh, I think we'll do it. Sorry. And we'll do it like that. Alright, so again. So you're red and the medic can also do it as well as Fog is doing for us. Um, and as you will, I'll show a clip later in a pub where me and Fog will actually do this effectively. Um, as well as me doing the spy play effective, effectively. But it's pretty uh, difficult jump to get a grasp of, but if you give it up enough time, you'll figure it out. The trick is to try to get as high up on this little crevice as possible. And then um, to basically strafe jump right into the, that tunnel. So you use W to get a little momentum, and then hold back your W. Uh, so that's basically the jump. Here we go. Oh. All right. So let's see what else. Let's fast forward. So again, it takes a little practice. Um, even me. This was the, kind of the first time I was doing it today. So it took. This was like my warm up. Um, but Fog can do it pretty well, so let's, yes, um, but then we wanted to go over the, so we're going to show that play kind of in action, like I said, um, in a pub that we just did after this, um, but we're also going to show, I also wanted to show, uh, like, the jumps and the hiding spots, because the gravel pit's kind of crazy, there's a lot of spots to hide, so, um, this, unfortunately, is gone. This used to be a good spot right up here, uh, but this is, I think, patched out as we found out. 
as I found out, um, Fall Guy didn't do that, some other people knew that. And let's see, again I'm just going real fast here to see where are the good jumps. Alright, so now we're going to kind of watch. I'm going to watch, again, kind of fast forward, this is not a 1x, this is a little faster than 1x. Um, but here, I like the, there's the, this little, um, I guess this is going from C to B. You can hide on these lamp posts, and uh, Fog is going to demonstrate, you can also do it on the other side. Oops, I killed him, sorry. Oops. Mm -hmm. Basically, this jump's really good, again, for a roamer, you're... Your scout or whoever's going to enter that room is not normally going to look up there, and if they do, it's really dark and difficult to see. Um, anyway, here we go. Fog gets the other jump. I'll show it. So you can actually get up here as well and hide. Pretty sweet. And again, you're dark. You, nobody's going to really check you. And you usually get a good pick on a scout. And if you're 6 for 6, that's pretty important. That's going to delay a push. And even more important, if you get a med pick, that's going to stop a lot, delay a lot of time. And then there's also, let's see if this actually went through. I just wanted to show these engineer spots. Like, uh, you can actually, you can get on here as heavy as well. I didn't show the heavy. Uh, but you can actually get up here. Let's see how long it takes me. <laughs> it's going to take me a while. Um, so I had forgotten how, I, there's a trick where you actually have to jump. I'll try to show myself struggling. So if you, the problem is when you get on this ledge as an engineer or any, I guess, it, probably any class, you get stuck in this crouch position, and you have to jump your way out of it before you can actually get on the back ledge. Um, that actually doesn't actually get you there. I thought that I used to be able to do it, but I don't think you can. Um, alternatively, you can build a sentry or a dispenser, but I think that's the cheating way. The best way is to actually just uh, jump, do the jump. So I'm going to show you, hold on, as soon as I get to this. So here we go. So this is again me showing the engineer jump on Gravel Fit last. Here you can see abusing jump. What the trick is to actually abuse jump without holding crouch. And you can build a dispenser here. You can build um, a teleporter, which I was trying to do. I think a teleporter is really cool uh, because you can teleport your team or heavy up there. You can teleport yourself back up there to repair your stuff. Um, you can pretty much build everything up there, um, as I'll show you. So the end, so I don't have an ammo. I have to actually turn on cheats at some point. That's when I realize that I can just cheat and get an ammo myself. Teleporter going up. So yeah. Let's see if there's anything else. So if you're good, yeah, so this is where I'm cheating now and getting all the ammo. So like I said, yeah, this is in the end what it's going to look like. I think this is really cheesy for pubs, really cheesy f even for 6v6. I know some invite teams for a while were trying to do this effectively just to get, I think, a heavy up here um, quickly because it's a level 3 teleporter. Um, that's pretty fast. Uh, respawn time, so you can basically teleport anyone up there at a moment's notice. here, yeah, just getting that level 3 up. So you can see, again, the idea. Yeah. You can do cool stuff like jumping off the gun. But, again, that's a cool NG play. I'm, and, again, heavy, you can get there too. Soldier as well, of course, you can get there just with rock jumps. And I'm trying to think if that's it for the engineer stuff. I didn't do too much engineer stuff, I guess. Yeah, so I went back soldier. Okay, yeah, so I want to talk about these, these lamp posts now. So the, a lot of these lamp posts are ob really obvious. I think people know that some of these are obvious roamer spots or demo sticky trap spots. It's good to check these just for roamers and stickies. Um, so both of these, I'm going to take it up there. Dope. 
whatever. Uh, yeah. Cheats helps. Yeah, so this one actually, I thought it's easier if you go off the wall. And then, um, I should actually close this when I'm not using it. And then this other one is, I mean, it's not, these aren't hard jumps, it's just sometimes tricky to get, land your body on the right angle. And that one, yeah, I like from going from below. So, that's it. And is that it? For Gravel Pit, I guess some time left. Let's see what else I did. Yeah, like I said, you can't actually get up here. But this is, uh, these are good spots for stickies or hiding. You used to be able to get up here. Yeah, so I shouldn't show this because it's not actually possible. So I think that's going to be it. Um, so I'm going to show, like I said, these clips now of me and Fog doing this stuff in action in the pubs. It's been about 28 minutes now. Uh, I hope this is actually working on the audio. Um, but we will see. So now they, here are the pub clips. We just did the demo for a Let me make sure I didn't miss anything. I wanted to show also uh, kind of my 